If you watch this video to the end, you'll probably have more questions than answers, just as I do. That's okay. It's okay to not always know, not just about this video, but with all things. At least this is what I tell myself when I hear or see something that I can't explain. The first two times I recorded what I call rock rubbing, the sounds of what sounds like two rocks being rubbed together. I say this term loosely because I'm not 100% sure that that's what I'm hearing, but it's what it sounds like. So that's how I will refer to it going forward. Anyway, the first two times were on two separate audio recordings from the spring and summer of 2017. In both recordings, I heard the rock rubbing in the minutes leading up to and during what I determined as what a Bigfoot researcher might call good audio, where I'm hearing something that I can't attribute to any known animal, like tree breaking, rock clacking, sniffing, breathing, without footsteps, knocking, etc., etc. Both times, I just thought the rock rubbing sounds were weird, not thinking much more of the sounds than that. Both times videos were made and put to YouTube with other content in them that um, the rock rubbing didn't make the cut. It wasn't until the third time I heard it that I realized there was a pattern here and thought to include it in the next video. I put it in as an afterthought in my video entitled Two Distinctly Different Strange Howls Video without the backstory that I'm telling you here. The whole reason I'm making this video now is because of the backstory. I feel it's important to note this because it's an easy sound to overlook, this rock rubbing. And maybe if some of you use audio as a research tool and hear this, you may want to make note of it going forward. It's amazing how quietly they move through the leaf litter with such carefully calculated steps. Their patience is amazing. It's incredible how they can sense the slightest change in their environment, which is why I abandoned the use of trail cams altogether, at least until someone can make a small enough one that's affordable. I hide my audio recorders quite well, yet something still slowly walks in every time I put my audio recorder out and actually touches my mic without sniffing sounds leading up to the first touch. So, I'm inferring that they're using their vision to determine what has changed in their environment or they watched me put it there. I honestly don't know which possibility is more unnerving. The possibility that something could have such an incredible capacity for visual recall and might be head and shoulders above humans in mental acuity to where we would seem to be moving in slow motion to them or that something is always watching actually now that I say it aloud the watching is a bit more unnerving my point is sometimes the rock rubbing is the loudest sound they make when walking around the audio and shouldn't be dismissed I don't know maybe they're rubbing magnetite together because I have the worst luck with my audio shutting off when things get interesting. But that's another video. Without further ado, I have a few examples for you to listen to here. So if you don't already have your headsets on, you should do so now. And have the volume controls at the ready, as I will pump up the gain.